Hello YouTube, it is Toy Adventures here again with another figure review. And finally, we're taking a look at the full wave, or at least the full first wave of Jurassic World. Jurassic World's new, like, uh, small kind of dinosaur line, the Fierce Force. So we've got the a brand new Gallimimus. Let me talk about these individually first. Brand new Gallimimus, super happy about this because I absolutely love this Gallimimus mold. And I was super bummed that they never reused it before. So finally, we have a repaint of my favorite mold. I guess you could consider this kind of a hybrid between the uh, Battle Damage and the Legacy Collection. Actually, no, I think it's just directly up the Legacy Collection now. Um, those of you who own the Legacy Collection Gallimimus, when you see this button, you know what it does, right? You press it and the legs go uh, running. Nah, they switched it up this time. Now it's the head, which this is also a very fitting feature for the Gallimimus. You know, you know, it's bobbing its head down to eat and then it looks up to, you know, watch itself, guard itself. So I really like this action gimmick. It's very Gallimimus appropriate. So this one already gets an approval from me. I like it. The colors are good, nice and earthy. Uh, so happy about this very happy that's a very uh, massive dinosaur you can buy quite a few of those and be happy with them up next we have an odd repaint of the sor sorrow plot sorrow plot pelta um we already had we have one of these before this is kind of like one of those odd never was in a movie i don't even know if it was in a book it might have been i don't know uh never in a game anything like that just like another random species that mattel wanted to make and then they gave it a repaint. Kind of interesting. There's a few species that I think needed a repaint a little bit more than the Sorrow Pelta, but you know, it is what it is. I do like the colors on this. It seems like this whole line has a green theme going on. Uh, you have this dark green going up here on the top of the armor. Going down to the bottom, it leads into a much softer green for the uh, skin, which is pretty cool. Uh, very fitting for the woodland theme. Just interesting that these are all green in some kind of way. Uh, taking a look down at the face. Another neat repaint, kind of unneeded and uh, out of the left field, but it is what it is. Then we have a brand new Velociraptor. Well, actually, no, not brand new, but because I haven't actually, I didn't get the blue version of this. Of course, every Raptor mold they make, they start off with blue first. So I didn't get that Raptor. Uh, so this is technically my first version of the, I, was, I believe it was a Slash and Strike first, or maybe it started out as a Fierce Force. I do not know, because again, I did not get that blue. But this is the repaint version of it, where it is released as just a generic Raptor, and I'm very happy with it, because I always love the new Raptor molds. I just like getting them when they're generic Raptors and not always blue. You know, you only need one blue, and to me, the Battle Damage is always going to be the definitive blue action figure. So this thing's pretty interesting. I don't exactly know what its gimmick is supposed to be. I don't see a button on it anywhere. The, okay, let's look in the back. So apparently you're supposed to tilt it from left to right manually and it moves its hands around. It's really hard to see that in the packaging because well, I don't know. We'll figure it out once we open it. Maybe that'll change something about it. That's interesting. And then we have a new species. The Myzacosaurus. So this is the my my Myzacosaurus. Myzacosaurus. Someone please co uh, comment how you pronounce this thing down in the comments because I'm, I'm kind of having a struggle in time with it. So yeah. Uh, if you guys watched one of my earlier reviews, I think it was the Cacardontosaurus. Uh, I Mine was like weirdly packaged to where this front part was folded behind this brown part. So it was this brown part showing you need to pull this, the actual front out, which was weird. I've never seen that before. But here's the Mycarosaurus or my Masychosaurus. Masychosaurus. Masychosaurus is how I'm going to say it from now on because I just need to find a word to agree on and just roll with it. So my second source, if that's wrong, I'm very sorry. Just please correct me down in the comments and try not to get too mad. So on for this one's gimmick, you press the button and uh, okay. So I thought the, the head, the mouth would chomp, you know, but it turns out it does not. It just moves forward, which is interesting. 
it, it seems kind of like uh, half done. You know, not really the kind of gimmick you'd expect. It's like half of it, you'd expect it to lunge forward and then chomp, but it doesn't. The mouth is actually articulated, which I prefer. I'll be honest, I always prefer an articulated mouth. It's just uh, kind of strange that it doesn't do it the full little gimmick. So this one's also green. I think the only one in here that's not really green is, is the Raptor. The Raptor kind of breaks the mold with this brown and tan cream kind of color scheme. But everything, everyone else has had that very uh, green based color scheme, including our Mizakasaurus right here with this green uh, overall body and a lighter green going on top and on the thighs, even down to the tail. Wow, tail printing, fancy. I'm telling you, run out all the stops with this guy. So that's always nice to see. So here is all of our dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and get them all. All right. So here we have the full wave out of the packaging and looking pretty good. I really like these new color schemes Mattel's going with, these much more realistic earthy tones. Uh, please stay doing that because these are much better than the crazy, wacky, yellow, orange dinosaurs you guys used to give us in like the uh, Dino Rivals line. Oh, that's that first repaint of the, of the uh, Majungasaurus is just what I'm talking about. This is a much better direction, and I really hope Mattel stays on this direction. These more realistic earth tone colors always do it for at least me. You guys may disagree, but at least in my opinion, I love these at least uh, more realistic colors, more grounded, you know, woodland type colors. So, ooh, who to start with? Obviously, we're gonna do the most mundane one, which is the Gallimimus, because it is the, uh, you know, the Gallimimus. Interesting to note. The button on the back is actually off-centered. It's not in the center of the back. It's off a little bit to the side, just a little strange and weird. Uh, I saw that with the Aranosaurus. Oh, I'll talk about that when I get the Aranosaurus and do a review on the Aranosaurus. I won't go too much into it, through, uh, into it right now, but uh, yikes. So, if we're talking about side buttons. So anyway, you know, you press the button, your Gallimimus can, you know, just chill down here and. Perfect, you know? So that's always something I really like to see when the action gimmick is a little bit more, you know, tied into the species itself and feels appropriate. That's when I really give action gimmicks a pass. Not when they're just a generic, oh, it swings its tail. Oh, it opens its mouth and chomps. Oh, whatever, it does this and that. Like, like species specific action features always are much better than just these generic, oh, uh, a piece of its skin rolls back and it shows them, you know, a fatally uh, mortal wound on it. You know what I mean? So, uh, taking a look here at the second dinosaur, which I, I can, you can argue is the, probably the most interesting from this whole pack, considering it is a new species. The Mysacosaurus is a new species. So I have no, no clue about this dinosaur. And I used to know a lot about dinosaurs, at least back in the day. So, I mean, Let's be real, I don't know how much about dinosaurs that I used to know as a little kid. I used to be a, a walking encyclopedia, and then I kind of uh, fell out of it a little bit, and now I'm back into it again, so. But not nearly as much as I was as a kid, so I don't know anything about this dude. I'm not sure if they captured his likeness well. I'll go ahead and flash a picture up on screen of what a Mizakasaurus is actually supposed to look like. And so, uh, I can't see it yet, but I'll see it once we're in editing. So uh, you guys will be the true deciders if this thing is properly capturing the likeness of its uh, archaeological counterpart, I believe the word is, or is it the fossil record uh, counterpart? Whatever the word, the terminology is, the word, the word, you guys know the word, so imagine it's there. Anyway, this one has a button, funny enough, in the center of the back, weird. Uh, you just press it and it... It's a weird kind of gimmick, but I like it. I, I, I actually like it. It's like expressive in a way. It's like it's... He's interested. You got his interest. It's uh, not too action-y. More of just a dinosaur being a dinosaur, which is unique. I like that. It's not a battle gimmick. It's not a defense gimmick. It's just a gimmick of it leaning its head forward. I think that's kind of a underrepresented gimmick in, di in dinosaur toys is just it being a dinosaur, doing, you know, mundane things that you can just play with and not have to have it attacking something. That's always cool. So moving over here to the Saro Pleta, I know we're saving the Raptor for last, oddly because that's the most interesting one to me, but I'll get to that anyway. 
So, Saropleta. Um, or Saropoleta. There's always like that little L in it that I always forget about. So, what is the action gimmick for him? Ah, yes, the tail. So, you just move the tail, and this is kind of strange. I, get, I don't know if this is supposed to mimic it walking, because I believe this is how they walk. They would kind of like... Side to side. So, another just gimmick of it being a dinosaur. Or it could be, you know, it's using these giant two tusks as defense. But that's, uh, that's a violent way of looking at things, don't you think? That's quite a violent way of looking at it. I have to think he's just walking. He's just uh, kind of like a squat boy, so he's got to like waddle. Another cool action gimmick, a little plain, even by dinosaurs being dinosaur standards, but definitely still cool. And now finally, we have the one with the most strange action gimmick of them all, the one that I don't even know if the action gimmick works on it, uh, the Velociraptor. So. I mean, even according to the back, it just says move it from left to right. So I guess this is supposed to be it clawing you. This just has to be probably one of the weirdest and most outlandish action gimmicks I've seen. Not only does it not require a button, it requires a worse entire seam line around the stomach. That just looks so strange and uh, gives this raptor, even in like in a toy sense, it makes it look like a mechanical, you know, animatronic raptor. Even in the toy world, it looks like something that you'd see on a, on like a ride or something. It just doesn't look quite right and the action gimmick's a little dumb. You just kind of move it from left to right. It has a kind of a copy meal feel to it where it's like, whoa, you can use the, the power of suspension and make a, a cool action gimmick that doesn't really do much. Yeah. It's a little underwhelming, even compared to its contemporaries, which are, you know, just press a button and it does something. This one doesn't even have a button. You just kind of wind it up and it and it goes back into place. So, strange. Uh, the pose is also pretty odd. Very odd. Just odd. That's the only word I could think of to describe this raptor is just odd. It's actually kind of cool in some angles, but in most of them, it's just odd. I mean, anything's better than the Crouching Raptor, but this one's not, uh, you know, quite as iconic as the battle damage. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I really have to say about these guys. Size comparisons, uh, I guess, with humans, because these are your standard repaint size. They are the, you guys know how big these are. All right, so first we'll start off Comparing it to a vehicle, we'll just do the Ford Explorer since I'm sure a lot of you guys have this now because these are flooded all over the place. So, you know, these are your standard run of the mill small dinosaur scales. So your 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 attack packs, your sound strikes, not your sound strikes, your slashing strikes, or I believe that's what they were called. It's been a long time, I can't remember all the little minor little waves that we've had. All the different little sublines in the lines, you know what I mean? So, pretty standard affair, about as tall as a human figure. Don't know if that's appropriate, but that is how it is. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. There's my Sacasaurus. Again, if you guys know the correct name, please. These new weird dinosaurs are getting harder and harder to pronounce. It's like when they discover a new dinosaur, it's like, how can we just mess with people as much as possible? So. I stopped doing this for a while and then I just started doing it again because I'm like, you know, some people, some people like it. Some people like it. That's, that's good enough for you to do it, right? Some of you guys like to do it. And if I can help, that's all that matters. So, anyway, that has been pretty much it for this review. Finally, I'm done with my scheduled reviews if you guys see another review in the next few days it was completely unexpected unless you guys comment down below saying you guys want more halo reviews because i have plenty of halo stuff to review which just they don't do very good on this channel so i'm kind of figuring a lot of you guys aren't, aren't really vibing with the halo stuff but i'm if i'm wrong i'll be happy to be wrong go ahead and let me know down in the comments but uh you know that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and this has been toy adventures Signing out. Peace.